Hi, welcome to From My Indian Kitchen to Yours. This is Rajshri. Today is uh, lentils galore. We're going to look at different kinds of lentils and probably just pick one and I'm going to create a dish for you uh, with that. So, um, lentils, uh, we call it dal in Hindi. In Tamil, it's called parupu. And dal is something that is made almost on a daily basis in Indian homes. Thankfully, we have so many varieties to pick from. And so that's what makes it so exciting and interesting to cook with dals. So uh, let's start by looking at some of the dals, which are basically uh, legumes. And legumes can be whole when they're actually split or are of a little bit smaller nature, then we call it dal. So these are different varieties of dals here. Um, as you can see, some are with the skin, some are without the skin, some are whole, some are split, and of course you see a variety of colors. And uh, depending on what we make, uh, we actually would make the dals mushy or in some in kinds of dishes we need them whole. So let's just uh, learn some of the names here. This is the green moong, um, usually kept whole while we cook. This is the urad dal. And uh, in South, we use this to make idlis and dosas. This is the orange um, masoor, which you would find in most of the stores here, um, in, in almost all, all kinds of stores, the regular grocery stores, Indian stores. This is the moong dal, split um, yellow beans, chana dal, masoor, thur dal, and this is the fried uh, version of this dal that we use in the chutneys. So today I'm going to show you how to make restaurant style masoor dal. We need two medium sized onions, uh, a cup of uh, diced canned tomato. My viewers know that whenever I'm making a gravy or a sauce, I prefer diced canned tomatoes, cilantro, the, and a tablespoon of ginger garlic paste. For the dry ingredients, we have uh, three bay leaves, two barks of uh, cinnamon, around six cloves, six cardamoms, and uh, medium level spice, two tablespoons chili, two tablespoons cumin, two tablespoons coriander powder, a uh, tablespoon of uh, turmeric, and I have pre-boiled the masoor dal and the masoor dal one pound of masoor dal and it doubles up uh, the quantity when you boil it just make sure you don't mush it up it has to be three quarter boiled and how do we know when you press it it kind of is soft and then i have six i'm going to use six count ounces of uh, whipping cream to uh, finish this dish to start off the dish i have a quarter cup of olive oil here um, it's kind of heated up and I'm going to drop a couple of bay leaf, a small uh, stick of cinnamon from my spice box and probably four, five cardamoms and a little bit of like five cloves. We don't have, we don't want too much of it, but just kind of just to get the subtle flavors and I have a a large onion here that's chopped. Uh, I'm going to drop it in the oil and the onion needs to become uh, translucent, not brown but just enough uh, so that it kind of uh, cooks with the spices. Now that the onions are translucent, uh, time to add the ginger garlic paste. Um, there's a little bit of oil here to uh, fry the ginger garlic paste. We want to make sure um, the taste uh, is not raw. So just give it a little bit of a stir around. And time to add the tomato. Go to fry these three ingredients for a little while, which is the onions, ginger garlic paste, and tomatoes onions are frying I have a little short story from my life I had an arranged marriage not a forced marriage and as uh, it was customary those days an arranged marriage you move in with your in-laws 
So the very second day after the wedding, I wanted to impress my mother-in-law, so I entered the kitchen and asked her if she needed any help. Of course, I knew nothing about cooking, not the ingredients at that time. So she said, oh yeah, go grab the tool dal from the pantry. Pantry is a, a storeroom. Uh, I'm going to make sambar today. So I entered the pantry and I just froze. <laughs> Uh, right in front of me with this variety of dolls neatly arranged and everything looked the same to me. Uh, at this point, I said, I'm not going to let down my parents. Who knows what they had told my in-laws that she could cook, she could sing, she could dance. Uh, of course, all that I did those days was to play basketball and I could ride a motorbike and to an engineering institute, but nothing about cooking. So what do I do? I mix up all the ingredients, all the all the bottles, and I shouted, Amma, I can't find Thor Dal. And uh, she came into the kitchen and she looked at the mess and she said, oh, these wedding guests, they left my pantry in such a mess. And she picked up the dal and uh, I just hung my head and walked behind her. <laughs> of course, I told her the story later and we had a good laugh about it. Okay, so I think the onions, tomato, and ginger garlic paste is, is done. So I'm going to add some of the dry ingredients. First comes the turmeric. And then the chili powder. I think I mentioned two tablespoons. This is actually three tablespoons of mild chili powder. Not the hot one, but the mild one. And then I have two tablespoons of coriander powder and the cumin I'm not going to use all of the cumin at this time I'm going to save a little to use it right at the end so to stop the burning now is the time to add the salt so the onions will and the tomato will start to sweat so here goes the salt. Uh, please use your judgment. Um, and it's just turning to smell so good. Okay. So I'm going to start adding the water now. So I have a cup of water. I think it can take a little bit more. So I'm going to add the water, half another half a cup, and turn up the heat. So I'm going to let it simmer for approximately five minutes so all of the ingredients come together. So let's just close the lid and let it boil for some time. Time to check. It's come to a perfect boil, and so we're going to add the pre-cooked one pound of masoor dal. I uh, just want to make sure that we have enough uh, liquid because we've got to let the masoor dal simmer again for another five minutes. So I think this can take in a little bit more liquid. So I'm adding here another cup and we are going to close the lid and let it simmer again for another five to six minutes. So this has been simmering for almost six to seven minutes now. If you remember, I said save half of your cumin. And this is where I'm going to add the cumin to give it that freshness, that little last kick uh, to the flavor. So I added the cumin. And if you are a vegan, this is where you stop. Uh, this is wonderful the way it is. Uh, you can have it with rice, you could have it with uh, rotis. Uh, however, I promised you a restaurant style masoor dal. So we're going to add the cream here. This is eight ounces of uh, cream, but I don't think I'm going to add all of it. 
I've got to stir and see because too much cream uh, means you're not going to taste the other flavors. Sometimes in the restaurant that happens, all you're eating is cream and I'm, I leave very unsatisfied. So um, this I think is approximately six ounces of cream and you might have noticed how dramatically the color changed for this whole masoor dal. It looks this beautiful golden yellow and um, after you add the cream it doesn't need to cook too long maybe just a minute and you're going to finish this by adding cilantro on top so here it is your finished restaurant style masoor dal My family likes the flavor of fresh lime in most of the dishes, so I'm going to just top off this with just half a fresh lime. And here it is, your finished restaurant style masoor dal. Hope you enjoyed cooking restaurant style masoor dal with me today. Please do subscribe to From My Indian Kitchen to Yours. Signing off, this is Rajshree Madalia. Thank you for watching.